or you can design the theme and the base menu whenever the user logs in to your dashboard so on the left hand side menu go to the appearance option click on theme so we have three theme options here you can select any one click on settings now here you have the option of what do you want to the background color to be transparent gradient and all these things you can also change the color and everything And after this, click on save and click on update. Next, you have option to change the color schema, the primary and the secondary color, the success and all these things. Now, which particular elements gets affected via this, you'll get to know once you start using it. Again, click on update. Once your customer logs in on the main dashboard, he sees some cards. So you can select which of this design that you want to keep. And also you can also change the preloader that loads. So you can also decide if you want the custom preloader or not the loading text and everything. After this, click on update. Next, we have the option of custom layout. So whether you want the menu to be horizontal or vertical, light or dark, boxed and all these things. So you can try various permutation and combination and set this up. Next, we have option of custom CSS. We have a dedicated video on how to utilize this. Kindly refer the same. And then you can have custom menu as well. So you can have menu for each section separately and then the main menu and the profile menus as well. Right now, it's if it's showing blank, simply click on refresh here. It will give a default menu which you can apply. And again, in case of the main menu, it will give a default. And import this. Once you have selected the menu file, you'll see that it has been loaded. Click on save. If you save it only for home page, then it will get saved only to the home page. And then you can have separate menus for the other section. For now, I am clicking on save for all modules. But please once try at your end and only then click on save for all modules. Again, in the profile menu, we have this documentation option. You can update the latest documentation URL here. So we have this entire white labeled documentation that you can utilize. Again, click on save. So this is how you can do the base customization for your platform. And now to check whether the customization has been applied or not simply go to your dashboard url you might not see it instantly then click on the url uh, the left icon beside the url click on cookies inside data and delete the cookies from here or you can also once check in incognito and it might load so this is how you can customize and you should surely know how to delete the cookies. It might be required at times by you or your customers. So this is how you can do the UI settings. Thank you.